MDA have been supporting my research at times when no one else would. And that was because we were pushing the envelope. Because of MDA, I'm standing here in front of you. I would not be here talking about muscular dystrophy research if they hadn't given me my original fellowship to train in muscular dystrophy. The real reason we both got involved with MDA is, is for the, the research aspect of it and, and the hope that it gives that we can find cures, we can find treatments for these diseases. I know with FSHD they have found the cause in research and I know with finding the cause they can definitely find a treatment to helping me and others with FSHD. Uh, the treatments that are in the pipeline compared to 10 years ago uh, are overwhelming. There may have been one or two treatments in the pipeline 10 years ago whereas now there are more than 20 and without organizations such as the MDA these treatments would never have come to fruition. I'm very optimistic with the research that MDA is doing. I just can't wait to these treatments. I'm quite optimistic that things are going to really um, happen. We have more things happening in this past future five years than, you know, for the past 50 years. Kate stopped walking up the stairs when she was 14 years old. The disease was progressing. We found out about the clinical trial um, through my MDA clinic doctor. Kate was on the medicine for about eight or nine months until I could really see a difference. When I realized that I could go up the stairs by myself, it made everyone in my house cry. I knew from that day on, things would be different. She was stronger, so clearly it was the medicine. This is a hopeful time for families with neuromuscular disease. In the past 10 years that I've been working in this field, we've kind of gone from the Wright brothers trying to fly their first airplane to getting ready to put a man on the moon. We're going to see a flurry of treatments that will actually change the course of people's lives, their families, and future generations. It's more crucial now, more than ever, to donate to the MDA for research because the research and the science that is available currently is outstanding. It's unprecedented and it has never been available before. <laughs>